I wanted to show uh, my green and purple tomatillo plants. Uh, the, I'm a beginning gardener and uh, I last year I tried to grow tomatillo and the plant came up but it wasn't very successful. But this one, this, this is the green tomatillo and I just think it's just such a beautiful plant. Uh, it's almost magical looking. Something that you'd expect to find out of Alice in, Alice in Wonderland or, or the vortex at Boynton Canyon in Sedona, Arizona. And then here's kind of like the opposite of it is the purple tomatillo. And it's, it has several tomatillos on it also. And, uh, and the two plants together are really cool. And uh, I know I'm going to have to save the seeds. As a beginning gardener, when you want to learn gardening, you can't you can't mess with seeds at start because it lengthens your learning curve so you, you know to, to learn gardening I think you're much better off planting plants from the nursery which is what I did here but now they've grown into beautiful plants and I know that I can't grow all strains here and I've never seen a purple tomatillo so uh, I am going to collect the seeds from from these. In fact, I now realize that the great advantage of of replanting your seeds, collecting seeds and replanting is the fact that it adapts your plants to your uh, particular environment where you're growing. And there are a lot of a whole lot of tomatoes here. And uh, I guess at this stage I just come out and pick those that have fallen off and they are delicious. And I've, I'm just learning to grow uh, lettuce over here. I've taken a juice bottle, which is a subject of another video. I'm zooming in on these juice bottles. I cut two juice bottles and put one in the other and and make it make it into a bottom watered container so anyway every every container on this roof almost every container is a container that collects the water in the bottom and that's it for this beautiful July day